think I don't. Did you complete all the tasks? Did you complete the book? Are you guys getting my point or not? So guys, I I know the process. I will give you all the details when the time comes up. Am I clear or not clear? Online team, I hope understand. So no need to worry that sir, you didn't provide it. So what is mean by that? I will provide today. Just calm down. Am I clear or not? Okay. Now let's we discuss this one as well. Let's minimize. Okay, so here. So are we done yesterday? We create a list, then we create a array. What is arrange functions, guys? Print the value bit up to the given interval, right? Three means zero to three. Five means zero to five. 10 comma 20 means 10 to 20. 30 comma 20 means error because this should be low, another should be. What about 10 comma 10? We not get any output, isn't it, guys? And minus 30 comma 20, this is what we done. Arrange, what is the five, guys? It belongs to the step count. It belongs to step counts. NP dot zeros, 4 comma 5, isn't it, guys? And then let's talk about this one. N equals to 5 comma 7. 5 comma 7 means NP dot zeros. What is meant by that? We'll get five rows and seven columns with the value zero with the value zero everybody's understood or no, no, no. up to this we covered yesterday's classes guys np dot ones two rows and four columns with the value one isn't it np dot twos it don't works over there it doesn't works isn't it team np dot one six comma ten six row and how many columns guys ten columns great we covered these things all those things and where we use this import star if we do not import numpy as np over there we mentioned from numpy import star are you guys getting my point or not great now let's talk about this range of 12 list of range of 12 what exactly output will get guys 0 to 11 isn't it anyway np dot threes is it works no rand int so what exactly rand int if you check this out low high and then size that means generate the random numbers between low interval one to high interval two isn't it but the moment when we change 10 comma two so what exactly low is greater than high which we covered yesterday so that means 10 is greater than two so let's fix this understand team np dot random rand into one means print the i mean generate the random numbers up to one so zero to one so definitely the answer is zero always guys getting my point generate the 10 random numbers between low 10 to high 30 isn't it so print the 10 random numbers between 10 to so if i execute multiple times are we get all the numbers are generated multiple times or not Guys, everybody's cleared up to this one. Great. Now, anybody tell me four rows, three columns, isn't it? Four rows, three columns. And four rows, three columns generate the random numbers between 10 to 40. I hope it's very straightforward or not. And I will give you this one today. Please practice. It's going to be fantastic, guys. Understand or not? First, there's a few things. Let me tell you, a lot of students ask the question and say, sir, how to remember all those things? Now, very simple, guys. There's no need to remember and practice and buy heart. Very simple. Every day I am giving you some simple and practical and effective task, which is relevant based on real time as well. Are you understand? So now take the you know what we call uh, the task every day just keep make a printout if possible with any of the printers and all those things make a printout and start working guys what happened guys i'll give you a small example if a kid 
study first grade if i give you first grade concepts he or she doesn't understand isn't it guys now when she promote to second grade first grade concept is easy or not easy easy when she go to third grade first grade concept is easy or not easy it's dead easy when she go to fourth grade now first grade concepts she will explain to someone else are you understand now i what i wanted to say that you are at first grade i'm just giving an example to make you understand guys so just take out the trauma that how to work with the codes and all those things everybody is clear or not so now the moment when we start working on do not think about can i do this my answer is 200% yes so complete the projects keep moving keep moving guys understand and when we go back to the task 10 the first task is easy the first task is easy when you go to the task 40 the 10th task is easy the 20th task is easy guys are you clear online team and offline team so sir how to get out the trauma just forgot about all those things man very simple sit down practice i give resumes i give projects just go and attend you you only not believed you got cleared the interview am i clear or not but one conditions sit and practice again yesterday she told or not practice 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 there's nothing else see in the in my sessions there's a lot of offers guys trust me you're going to see in upcoming okay next week i'll show another offer and i will bring her down if possible and um, she got placed as data engineer in one of the company 7 years worked as a interior designer which designer guys interior designer 7 years now she apply as a fresher now she moved to data scientist now so now maybe i will show the offers i will share the congratulations mail then i will invite her then you trust are you guys understand or not now you can believe them well let's let's wait for a moment and you get a moment as well am i clear or not in nadesh it no faculty has not nadesh it any of the institutes a lot of them for marketing so we are not doing here so we just i hope i'm introduced in front of you guys am i clear or not great now so just no need to worry don't remove all those things like see identifier if i ask you will you will you answer my questions or not about identifier because when i explain first day you feel can i do it but now it's a 14th day identifier is easy now for you isn't it and you know how to declare identifiers how to not so the same things is continue in upcoming days as well yeah okay now let's go back and talk about that say gosh i will tell you man maybe uh, i don't know what's your name mr gorgi and gosh but let me tell you so there are some of the students offline team i lot of i encounter with the problem how to start maybe you are working professionals no need to worry buddy are you understand i'll start i'm not here for time pass are you understand gozi and i don't to add to this and the moment if i give you to speak this example to give you motivate if you don't want to speak i don't speak guys do you think it's waste the time online team because one student says sir can you start the subject it's already late we already started understand we are not doing time pass here buddy so now most of the students i educate them they have interference that how to get out of the codes so but because of the codes they try to understand they keep push up and start working it are you clear mr uh, i don't know what's your name let's go to the operations understand np dot random rand int rand int are we done or not what is rand int guys print the random numbers between 10 to 20 clear now i'll create one example call array now this next question is yesterday which was talk about how to remember all the functionalities like that isn't it i'll share you one html file understand i'll share you one html file if you follow the html file what exactly happen so we have a to z normally we count from a to z isn't it so a how many functionalities we have absolute accumulate add all all close all true 
angel, any, append, arrange. Are you understand or not? So very simple. Every day, take one, one, one and complete, guys. I know it takes some time, but no need to worry. The one which you feel tough, skip it and go to the next one because we're not writing an exam here. Am I clear or not? And can I, I hope I didn't share this link yesterday. I will share. I already shared this, guys. Let's copy this. And if you go back to this one, let's get in. We got the file or not? Its link is working, Puneet. Team, are you understand? Great. Now, let me go back to this one. So we have here operations we done. Listen to me very carefully. So randint, that means create a random numbers, 10 random numbers between 0 to 100. So when we go for array 2, we have all random numbers or not? Team, are you understand? Clear? Now, in this one, how to find out the maximum values, guys? I create an identified, which is array, right, guys, which contains 0 to 5. ARR dot max. Can you get the maximum value or not? ARR dot max means we get a maximum value in an array. In an array. Array dot mean. What is this values, guys? We dot, we get minimum value, which is called 0. And then array dot mean. What is average values, guys? 2.5. What is median? Median won't work in this way. NumPy attribute object has no attribute called median. That's why we got it. Guys, are you understanding an array? How to find out maximum value? How to find out minimum value? All those things, guys? Great. Now, okay. From NumPy import, I create an identifier A. Array of 12349. If I print median of A, then we find what is the median value? 5 plus 1 by 2. So do you know the formula? N plus 1 by 2, which is 5 plus, oh, I mean, yeah, 5 plus 1 by 2, which is 3, means third row, the value is 3.0. Guys, are you understand? So if you, the way we print here array dot mean, we get output as 2.5 because we have all these values we have. But the moment when we check array dot median, in this way, we get bug, isn't it? What is the name of the error? Attributes error. How to do this? A equal to array. You create an identifier on this. You create an identifier. Then you can pass the identifier in as an argument in median. We get output as 3.0 or not. Okay. Uh, also, I'll try to give you some. Guys, I'm not doing time pass. Let me tell you. The one who experience students we have here. Understand? Like experienced professionals, I can say that. Maybe you guys are earning 12 LPA, 40 LPA, and 30 LPA, guys. Understand? Also, I have some students who do not have money to pay the class fees. I meet them personally. They don't have internet to talk. Do you know? Guys, the moment when I give you example, if their mindset is increase and try to practice, is this time pass? Is this waste of time? Now, I'm, I'm asking you all these questions to you guys. Are you understand everyone? See, guys, the, I know you are experienced because you do also a lot of hard works. So just calm down. Are you getting my point? Okay, you're just getting 40 LP, 30 LP. That doesn't mean that you are so big guy. If a company is kicked up, so again, we have to get back to the main place. So please be alert. So I equal to everyone. I am here in my, in my dictionary, all are equal. Okay, even though I'm getting more than everyone, guys. But still, I never have those mindsets. Am I clear? So PhD students are studying and 10th class students studying and plus two students studying and CS students studying and BTEC students studying. Are you getting my point? Now, my, I'm here to educate you to build a confidence and strong mindset. And then let's go ahead to the journey. Now, these examples, it's not given you every day. Am I clear? 8.30 AM batch. 
Okay. Thank you, guys. All right. No, no, just you don't talk. Anyway. Uh, Prasanna, what I'm saying, np.randomrandint means generate the random integer between 10 random integer between 1 to 100. Understand, Prasanna? Yes. Okay. Now, b1 equals to array.median. We will get output because we need to pass array.median b1. Let me introduce another one called reshape. What we call, guys? Reshape. Let's go back and we come back to here. my hope understand so let's go back to shift tab written an array containing the same data with a new shape yesterday we talk about that let's scroll down if you see this okay it's better i'll give you one did you see this is built-in functions go back and see this this is built-in functions or method. Are you understand? What is meant by built-in? Inbuild. What is meant by inbuild, right? Now let's talk about that. NP.reshape 3, 2. Three rows and two columns, isn't it? There is a catch. Array. How many values we have? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Guys, are you understand? So what is the numbers we have? 0 to 5. So 0 to 5. Understand? Okay, so zero to five. So when we talk about reshape, we have three rows and two columns. We have how many rows, guys? Three rows and two columns. When we say array dot reshape two comma three, two rows, three columns between these numbers zero to five or not? Between these number zero to five, isn't it? Let's go back and we check this. Two rows and three columns between zero to five. Now let me tell you. Array dot reshape one comma four. What exactly output will get, guys? We get error. You know why? We get error because Prasanna, I'll give you some work, guys. Let me tell you when I'm explaining. If someone asks you, I will. I'll miss the flow. Understand? We cannot have odd. That's correct. We cannot have odd because we have five values but we call as one comma so are we get output guys no we never get output isn't it okay got it now now let's say array dot reshape one comma six is it possible no not possible so reshape one comma six means i hope i'll make array i think reshape of one rows and six i mean so zero to five it will print guys are you getting my point but in, now let's make one second. Let's click here. Array. So what is the value we have? 0 to 5. You check this reshape. Order C. So pass separate arguments, for example. So just one moment, guys. And go back to this one. Are you understand? 1 means row. Are you understand? 6 means columns. Single row. All six columns are created or not? Six comma one means six rows, one columns. Guys, are you understand? What is reshape? Okay. Now reshape two comma six. Zero to five we have in the array. We have zero to five numbers. When we say one row and six columns, guys, by default, this is rows. Always remember, isn't it in array? By default, it is row. And when we mention comma, all the functionalities is different from reshape is different, arrange is different, and all those things. Getting me? Now array dot reshape two comma six. We get error. Why, guys? Because we have the value zero to five. When we say two into six, it's an what? What happened? It not works out, isn't it? But when I say two comma three, when I one comma three, or maybe one comma six it works or not it will work but when we add two it not works getting my point but here i'll give you some of the example in more but before that let me talk to indexing let me go back on indexing guys 
Okay. NP dot arrange dot reshape 10 comma 10 means what guys? By default, 10 rows and 10 columns. Dot arrange means print the element between 0 to 100. Print the element between 0 to 100. So let's go back. And what is output I'll get now? I'll get 10 rows, 10 columns between the number 0 to 99. Clear or not? So are we create a matrix over here or not? Great. We done. We create a matrix over here. Now listen to this. Here we mentioned row equal to 4, column equals to 5. Listen to this. In NumPy also begins with 0. Isn't it? Now here, 0, first row. This is 0 row. This is first row, second row, third row, fourth row. 0 row, first, second, third, fourth, fifth. Clear or not? So let me check this means I have to assign this rows 4 or row 5 matrix. When I called matrix identified, we get these metrics or not? Is this n dimensions or not, guys? This is n dimensions. Let's go ahead and check this. <clears throat> when I pass matrix row, comma, column, when we pass matrix row, comma, column, what is row, guys? Fourth, what is column? Can you please tell me what exactly output I'll get? 45. How? Let's go back. Let's understand. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Isn't it? <clears throat> 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Do you think can we get 45 or not? Can we get 45 guys? So how I think in metrics, I told you yesterday, in metrics, I told you yesterday, metrics, how to print zero value or not if we have n dimensions array. So understand, let's go ahead to another example, metrics. Slicing, I hope we see a lot of practice in slicing. Slicing means what is meant by that guys? Entire data frame or not means, entire the value from 0 to 99 okay now last time yesterday till yesterday we done slicing for data structures data type and we done many indexing for list tuple set all those things are not deep. correct now let me heading toward this one matrix colon column what is the column value five can you tell me what output I'll get now? I'm saying from entire matrix, please size slice the fifth one. So what's output then? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, column, I'm sorry. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So are we get all these elements or not? Are we get all these elements, guys? Let's go back and we check this. Are we get all these elements? Let's go back and we can check this. So 5 to, 5 to 95. Everybody's understand or not? Now, if I change to column to 7th, what is output I'll get now? Column or rows? So what is the value then? 7 to? Are you understand or not? Now let me go back at this moment column. I hope understand. Now let me add this matrix. Anybody guesses what is output now? Forty two. are you sure? 40 to 49, great team understand i understand how slicing done in metrics so in existing days in we completed how to how to work slicing in data structures we completed last three weeks case now we are discussing how to work slicing with what else case metrics 
Now, why we need to learn, guys? Because in future, when we build machine learning model, we split the data. What we do, guys? We split the data. What is the splitting part? Independent variable and dependent variable. Independent variable and dependent variable. Understand or not? Now, let's go back. Clear up, up to this one. Now we just work more on slicing and then not understand. Puneet, do you have proper internet, Puneet? Are you proper internet? Let me tell you, man. Now, I'll assign row equal to 4. When I say row equal to 4, it is a fourth row or not, Puneet? Clear? When I say 5, is it fifth column or not? You answer me, understand or not? Now, when I say fourth row, can you tell me which is fourth row now? That's what I'm printing, man. That's what I'm doing till now. Even though if I explain the school kids, they can understand. Trust me, all those things. So I'll give you this work. You can practice. Clear? Punit, are you clear? Now here, matrix row, comma, column. That means... Matrix row comma column means let me add this one and I'll copy and I can paste here. What is row guys? Fourth. What is column? Fifth. Now what is output I'll get now? Let's do this. Zero, one, two, three, four. Now column. Zero, one, two, three, four, five. Now experience guys, if you feel bored, you may leave, you can join machine learning classes because if you feel you expert on all those things you can join statistics class as well or eda class as well understand all right now let's go back to this one clear guys now row means what fourth slice four slice means zero one two three four so we get output clear what is slice it will print entire element of the matrix let's go ahead to this one Okay, up to this, everybody's clear, online and offline. Uh, let's print matrix. Total element is printed. Scroll down. Okay, listen to me very carefully. Two slice six, two slice four. What exactly I'm saying? Two slice six and <coughs> two slice four. Before I go back to masking, this is very important. Please listen to this and I will tell you, 2 slice 6 considered here, 2 slice 6 is row. Guys, listen to me. This is a little bit more technical. 2 slice 6 considered, this is row. 2 slice 4 considered, this is column. I mean to say that when we say matrix, we can say 4, 5. This is rows or not? This is columns, straightforward. Now, what I'm doing, 2 slice 6 considered, this is row. And consider this is 2 slice 4. Consider this is column. Team, understand or not? If you look at this one, we get output as 20 to 23. Means 22. What is this? Just one moment. I'll show you. 22 to 52. This is what we get output. Am I correct or not, guys? Now here, what exactly things they said? 2 slice 6 means row. We have six means six row, not zero, one, two, three, four, five. Guys, are you understand or not? Now, six means what? Six minus one, isn't it? Six equals to six minus one. So that's why I mentioned up to fifth. And then column two slice four, zero, one, two, three. Four becomes four minus one, three. Are you guys understand up to this or not? Great. Now, which one is common part you find out? Do you think you find this common or not? Because both parts starting from two. So second index we compute. Guys, are you understand or not? Tim, are you clear? So very simple. Two slice six considered this is a row. Two slice four considered this is a column. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Because when we use slice, that means n becomes n minus 1. Am I clear or not? So 
wherever you take, let's talk about this one. Let me create a matrix. Can you please tell me what is output? Offline team and online both. Can you tell me, guys? Okay, for better explanations, I will mention zero, one, right? Two become two minus one. Zero, one, two, three. Tell me what is output, guys? Twelve and thirteen. Is he correct, guys? Is Satya is correct? Offline team, are you there? What is output? How? Prashna said zero comma one. 0, 1, we can skip it because this is 0 throw, this is first throw. Yeah. Now let me go back and we discuss. Very good. The answer is 12, 13. 1 and 2. Yeah. So what is the answer, guys? Still, a lot of people online team not understand. I know that. So that's why a lot of people answered 0, 1, 1 and 2. That's not correct, guys. Let me tell you once again. Very simple, understand that means row. Very simple, guys. What exactly I'm trying to say? If I have, let's add this matrix of four comma five. That means what is meant by that, guys? Isn't it? Now let's say zero comma two. What is output, guys? Zero row means this is zero row. Understand? And second column, 0, 1, 2. There's a two things, guys. When I use 2, comma 3, n minus 1 formula not applicable. Everybody's clear? Let me write down here. When I say matrix of 2, comma 3, n minus 1 formula is not applicable team understand or not when i use matrix two slice three that means n minus one formula is applicable guys are you understand or not for example let's say matrix zero comma two means zero throw second column and the output is Zero throw, are you understand or not, guys? Zero comma two. So let's check this. And what is value I got, guys? Two. Zero throw second column. The value is two. Now let's add this. And when I say matrix of zero slice two, now what is output? We get two rows, first row and second row. Guys, are you there? Everybody's clear or not? Look at the difference between comma and let's say 0, 1. What is output, guys? So your output is 1. 0 throw first column, which we get output as 1. But now let me use 0 slice 1. What is output? First row. How to slice entire row and how to slice I mean, given indentations, given index of a matrix, guys. I hope uh, Maheshwar and Prasanna, are you clear, guys? Okay, great. <clears throat> now go with next one. Let me close this matrix. I hope understand why we got 12 and 13. Let's follow this again one more time. This is zero throw first row and the first saying one slice two one slice two means row part row part means this is one slice two means first row or not guys because it's saying if you practice previous classes then only this concept would be easy am i clear or not so that's why in back classes i give you some of the practicals to work or not so when you work then only clear now let's go ahead one slice to two slice four this is zero this is one right guys now this row is printed now column two slice four zero one two three four means four minus one three 
So here row part, we need to consider one column part. We start from two or not. So the output is print as 12 and 13. 12 and 13. Guys, I hope understand or not. Clear, guys? Now, let me go back to matrix. Any guesses what exactly output for this? Any guesses what's output for this case? Okay, let me write down here. Zero, one, two, because column part. Three means three minus one, two, I write in two slice three. Zero, one, two. Any guesses what exactly output guys? Two slice three. The answer is excellent. Excellent guys. Satya, it's 22. No worries. You can, I'll give you, you can try to a little bit work on this. Understand team? Now let's go back to the metrics. Last of the day, last uh, few things to checkpoints and then we can go back to masking. A row, three slice five, zero, one, two, three, four. Isn't it? Now column, zero, one, two, three. Yes, please go ahead. What's output guys? Three slice five and two slice four. 32, 33 and 42, 43, isn't it? Because three slice five means zero, one, two, three. So this is, are you guys understand or not? Excellent, great. Interesting or not, guys, how to deal with, because why are we learning all those things? Because in future, when we build machine learning model, we import the data set. What is meant by data set? I told you Excel sheets. If that Excel sheets contains 10 lakh rows and 100 columns, we need to split the data, guys. What we need to do, we need to split the data. So to split the data, do we need to use these operations like slicing and all those things or not? So that's the reason if you learn this there, we can practice all the information still. Am I clear or not? Great. Let's go ahead and we complete this. Now let's go back to the metrics. I hope you can do this team. Let's heading toward another part is called masking. What is called mask? Just uh, okay. So we call the matrix. I'll write a conditions matrix less than 50. I write a conditions matrix is an identifier or objects which hold entire element, the range between 0 to 100, isn't it? We create reshape or not, guys? We create np.arrange and np.reshape. Arrange of 0 to 100 and reshape of 10, 10. 0 to 19 with 10 rows and 10 columns. And we create a n dimension z array, isn't it? Now, here I'm saying matrix less than 50. That means I will get a informations like that. So what is mean by that? Does 0 less than 50? True. Does 1 less than 50? True. Does 3 less than 50 or not, guys? I hope understand. Everybody's clear or not? And then next, does 50 less than 50? And then 51 less than 50? False. Are you understanding? Check the conditions, guys. Now, can we write? So did you see we apply the filters matrix less than so how many times are saying the identifier only one time or not now let's this conditions i keep inside the matrix once again it will give a true use case means true conditions that means 0 to 49 is less than 50 or not but after 50 it is not printed as you understand, we filtered based on the true conditions. We filtered based on the true conditions, guys. Guys, this is not a theory. This is practical. When I give you this task today, you go home and try to sit and practice. Am I clear or not? Then only it's going to work out. Clear? Let's go back. Can I create an identifier? A1 is equal to matrix, matrix less than 50. When I call A1, can I get the output or not, guys? Am I getting output 0 to 49? Are you understand team? Okay. A2. Let's write another conditions. A2. Mat matrix. What is output I'll get? Anybody? 
what is output i'll get 52 50 or 51 let's check this 51 to 99 do you understand now if you say this let's close this and i'm write a conditions matrix greater than 50 i hope understand because false 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 team clear or not if you print a1 and then we have this one when we go to a2 then we have built this guys i hope understand so today using matrix how to slice entire row how to slice entire column what we learned so far in matrix today we understand how to slice entire row and how to slice entire column are you guys understand or not and also how to print a individual a specific indexes indexes are you guys understand and then how to apply filters and some of the numpy functionalities now i'll give you there's a three things the first one is numpy class work i mentioned task six github now see guys um this is for yourself this task means whether you work or not work it all depends on you i would highly appreciate if you work and present these things guys this is fantastic many students they done that before as well am i clear or not clear guys numpy class work please practice now let me tell you guys another thing i'm not going to i'm not wasting my time the students who got placed do you want me to invite them and introduce you or not required required or not required based on highest individuals or still some experienced folks are there for them it's waste and they said 50 persons of time we use for nonsense talk are you getting my point guys okay anyway please invite them required great so if you're required i'll continue guys okay now let me go back to okay all right so there's a two task guys i'll assign to you and i need some of the ppt regarding all of them so this one and this one as well am i clear or not so please mark down and start working on it task six i will share this link today i shared this classroom today you can work guys understand and let's do another projects guys today we work first projects today we worked on projects and the projects called patterns and trends using numpy understand team now numpy has no theory there is no theory guys understand it's only practical from practical theory will be generate but machine learning first theory then practical for artificial intelligence